doing a first impressions of my new makeup because if you haven't watched my birthday haul, well basically it was my birthday on Tuesday the 31st of October and for my birthday I got lots of new makeup and I also bought some like other makeup as well off Beauty Bay and places like that and I thought that today I would try it out for the first time just to give an honest opinion of my new makeup basically and just to give you an idea of what the products are like and yeah so without further ado let's get on the video. I have a new primer but I'm just going to use the Nivea Men Pro Shave Balm and the Professional just all around my face just to make sure that my base for my foundation is really good. So, so now I'm going to use my colour corrector Firm Freedom. I've had this for ages as you probably know as well so I'm going to put this in my red, red areas and on my spots however my spots on my face have cleared up a lot obviously they're still here but they're not as big and red as they were so I won't have to use as much of this next like this time. So after I've used the colour corrector, I'm going to use my new foundation, the Locket foundation, um, just because this is new and I got it for my birthday. And yeah, I'm just going to put this all around my face, but whenever I try out a new foundation, right, I'm always scared in case I pump a bit too much out, and then I feel like I've wasted it, and this is quite expensive. I don't want to waste any of it, so I'm going to be careful. So after I've, I've put it all over my face, I'm just going to blend it in with my buffing brush from Real Techniques, and I'm just going to kind of blend it in how I'd usually blend in my foundation so just everywhere around my face I don't want to miss any areas because I remember yesterday I went into school and missed a patch of my foundation on here I don't even know how because I do blend it all over my face but somehow I managed it but this time I'll make sure that it's all blended everywhere it's been blending out really nicely like it's it's like a good thick foundation which I like because I like to have a thick foundation so that it, it, it covers up all my imperfections on my face and that you know, it can't because it's a locket foundation. I'm hoping that the word lock will lock the foundation on my face. That's what I'm hoping anyway. Um, but so far, it's blending out really nicely. It's not, it hasn't went weird or anything on my face, which is a good thing. So, I don't have any new concealers, so I'm just going to use my NYX concealer from under my eyes and I'm going to use my LA Girl for like all my imperfections because these two work a miracle together and they'll just look really nice on my face so I'm going to blend it in with a beauty blender as well so that it creates a nice effect so after my concealer I'm going to use my baby powder as I've just recently found out that you can use this as a loose powder so I've never used this before so this is going to be kind of first impressions I guess and I'll also be using my What's it called? My collection powder just for like all around my face. So it looks like I kind of have some drugs in here but I don't. It's just the talc, well the baby powder, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to kind of put it on here as well. Just kind of like powder my concealer on my eyelids. And I'm going to put a little bit on my nose. Cause I, like, I like to put it on my nose when I lose powder myself. I don't know why. I just do. It's just kind of a bit of a habit. So now after I have powdered, I will use my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. This is just the powder form and I'm also going to use my new Real Techniques Bold Metals the Sculpting Brush. It's like, you know, to, to sculpt my cheekbones and everything. And I've also got um, like this, this thing where like it'll, it can kind of help you sculpt your face. Oh, I've just dropped it. Wait a minute, kids. I'm going to follow the steps and I'm going to use the, these two shades here. The two lighter shades. Just these two because it's like more my shades. Um. But yeah, I'll just follow the steps and then I'll give you an honest opinion of what it's like because I'm sure it'll be very good. It says, find your, your natural contour line by placing your fingers under your cheekbones, right? Right, okay. Um, and then it says, you have to apply the shade under the entire length of your cheekbone. So it's under my cheekbone, right? Well, yeah, I suppose, obviously. Mm. How much am I meant to use? I'm not sure. I don't know if this is the right brush to use it for, but because it's quite like flat, if you know what I mean. So, like, after I've used the Shade and Light palette, I feel like it's a really nice palette, but it's really hard to blend, especially on your face. Like, I put it everywhere, and I'm still trying to blend it now, but anyway, I'm going to move on, and I'm still going to blend it after this. But now I'm going to use my Moonchild um, Highlight Palette by Anastasia. I'm going to use the shade Blue Ice, because that's a nice white highlight shade. So I'm not going to put loads on, but I'm just going to, going to put it on like this. Can you see that? I'm not sure if you can or if the light isn't catching up. There we go. Oh, look at that. That is a one nice highlighter. I think this is a gorgeous highlight and I can't wait to use all of the shades. But yeah, so pretty and I love it. And I would recommend this to anybody who's thinking of buying it. Because yeah, it's amazing. So now I use my setting spray from Freedom. And then now I'm going to use a Morphe 35 O palette. I'm going to show you all this because I bought this off Beauty Bay for £23. 
Um, look how beautiful them shades are. So I'm gonna go and aim for like the red shades and some of these as well. Um, because they're like the nicest shades. Might even use this mustard colour here. So yeah, I'm gonna go and experiment and then I'll come back with like a nice eye look. So after I've applied my eyeshadow, I use all the red shades and I, I use my Supercat eyeliner, my NYX eyebrow pomade and I use my Girls of Attitude lashes. Now I'm going to use my Revolution lip kit in the shade Rain. This is what my sister bought me. It's still a lovely pink shade. So I'm going to, I will try and do this for you guys. And I love the Morphe eyeshadow palette. If you're ever wanting a good red eyeshadow palette, you should go for the Morphe 35O because it's got a range of like shades and it's got a range of type of eyeshadow. So they've got mattes, they've got shimmers, they've even got like a like glitter shade. So it's worth having a look. And I think this is like a pencil. So I'm going to try and apply this very well. So this is the finished look. The lipstick is lovely and the lip liner applies really well. And yeah, I feel like it's lovely look. <laughs> enjoyed if you did make sure to leave a thumbs up and a comment down below and i will see you in my next video